Hey friends! Happy Wednesday. What is going on? It's your girl Mel. I am coming to you live from my kitchen here right outside St. Louis, Missouri. It's almost 1230. We are ready for lunch. So I wanted to show you guys just a really super simple, easy lunch that tastes good. Um, it's easy to make. It's minimal ingredients. You can have as much creative freedom with this as you want. Uh, and it sounded really good today. So I told Dee on our walk this morning, I was like, I want to make these hot sandwiches for lunch. And he was like, I'm in. Make me some too. So that's what we're going to do. So as you guys are popping on, say hey, say hi. If you are catching me on the live, that means you can see the live button right there. Drop a one. If you are catching me on the replay, do hashtag replay. Y'all, these, um, literally, you can do whatever you want, right? So I'm going to show you how we're going to make them. Um, we like them. We don't eat them a lot. Um, but they're okay to have every once in a while. So the first thing you're going to take is a low carb tortilla. So I started seeing these at, they're like literally everywhere now, but I got them at Walmart. They're zero carb, zero net carb tortillas. So they're literally like the size of like the palm of my hand. And so we're going to make, um, our sandwiches with these. There is um, seven grams of total carbs, but seven dietary fiber, which is what makes it zero net carbs. And they're good. And they're like really soft flour tortillas. They're a very good substitution. Have you guys seen them? I'll show you again real fast. This is what they look like. They also have like a, like a toasted, like red something. Another flavor option, but I just got their original. So anyways... Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some cream cheese and I'm gonna apply the cream cheese to the tortilla. All right, so I'm gonna put some cream cheese on the tortilla. Actually, both of them. Tammy found them at Walmart too. Yeah, they're like new, but they're like everywhere now and like large quantities of it. The, these zero net carbs? I think so. That's where we got. Oh, not those. Sorry. No. Yeah. Yes, Liz. Okay. So I'm just putting some cream cheese on them. Um, then I'm going to take salami and pepperoni. So I think I'm going to do two pieces of salami, two pieces of pepperoni. The dog's going to go crazy. You guys know how Toby loves his meat. I'm actually going to do three pieces of pepperoni. And then I'm going to take some sliced cheese. Actually, I thought this was pepper jack, but it's actually molded. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> That's funny. So I'm going to do... Oh, actually, I'm going to do this. Um, you guys, I thought that it was... I thought that it was pepper jack cheese, and then the packaging was not pepper jack. <laughs> It's all right. Um, I'm glad I caught that. If you guys are here for perfection, I'm not your girl. This is about as real life as you're going to get. Um, but I'm going to do two pieces of cheese. Toby, go lay down. Um, on top of the meat. And then I'm just going to close it like this. So this is what it looks like. And then we're going to use these little mini, um, mini dashes. So these are like the little waffle irons. And we're just going to set it here and kind of push down on it. And we're just going to like get it warm. That's what we like. So we're going to do it again with these. I don't know if that grill would substitute. It substitute. Sweet. But there's also more, I think. We're doing lots of Thanksgiving. Not we. D is doing. <laughs> I've done nothing. Um, lots of Thanksgiving prep true. today. That's not true. You helped me get spices off the top shelf. Oh, yeah. So he's, <laughs> I'm taller than him. I'm six foot tall. And he couldn't get the spices in the back on the top shelf. <laughs> so he needed my help with that. Um, isn't that funny? <clears throat> but anyways, he's prepping everything today. Posting is our thing. And him, like, he takes pride in all the food. And that's his thing. So I don't fight him on it. I'm like, whatever. So he's doing everything today. Turkeys are soaking in brine and um, we did the potatoes. So when you guys do potatoes, we're not, we, don't eat, we don't eat potatoes, but we do make them because we're hosting for a pretty decently sized group. Um, so we do real potatoes. 
we cook them in everything and then we put them in a crock pot um, and we stick a stick of butter in the crock pot and we put it in the fridge. And then tomorrow morning when he gets up early, he'll plug in the crock pot and the potatoes will heat up that way. So um, we've got that going. Uh, we just did the, or he just put in the spaghetti squash. He's cooking the spaghetti squash so that we could um, go ahead and like prep that all up so that, um, hey, can you guys fight somewhere else? I just told him to get back to... They're you, distracting you, me. You just, put, you just proved your mother wrong. Or right. Yeah. Go get ice. Please. Thank you. I like to be right all the time. Yes, she does. Um, but anyways, we're cooking the spaghetti squash for the al gran spaghetti squash. So that we'll cook that. It'll cool. We'll mix everything together. The sour cream, the spices, whatever. Cheese. And then we're going to put that in the refrigerator. So tomorrow we just have to heat that. Um, I think we're going to do the same with green bean casserole. Um, my sister-in-law's bringing mac and cheese. Dee's trying a lazy keto, um, crustless pumpkin pie. So he's working on that. Um, Kyla's going to make cheese ball. I know a bunch of you guys want the recipe for that. So I'll get that posted. Um, it's just like, we don't ever measure anything out. So, um, I just have to figure out like measurements for that. So we've got that getting ready to get done. Um, Stuffing, we won't worry about that till tomorrow. Bread, we won't worry about that till tomorrow. I gotta go pick up a regular pumpkin pie, so I'm gonna run out to the store um, after lunch and get that. Um, and cutting up meat and cheese, we've got pickles. Uh, he already did the deviled eggs. Well, he like did the eggs, and then oh. the mixture stuff we'll make probably tomorrow. Later tonight. Later tonight, mm -hmm. yeah. So that's what we got going on. <coughs> so if you guys are just popping on, we are um, making some quick lunch. So we're using low carb, actually zero carb, tortilla shells, some pepperoni, some salami, some cheese, some cream cheese, heating it up on the little waffle iron, and that's what we're having. So I just wanted to show you guys how easy it is. You could also use like, a, you could pan fry it, or use like a griddle or something. Um, but this is what I'm doing. So, I got that in. I'm probably going to flip it just to kind of change it up a little bit. And you just let it cook for like three to four minutes. What do you guys think? Have you made this before? I've shared it in the past. Um, like I said, it's not something we eat all the time. Uh, we try to limit like tortillas and bread, um, just having it kind of here or there. But with cooking all day and like, the foods smell, like the smells in here are amazing. Um... I don't know, it just sounded good to do this sandwich. I don't know what we're doing for dinner yet. Do you know what we're gonna do for dinner? I thought you were eating that nastiness in the fridge. Well, you don't want it, so well, I have yeah, some chicken. Eat that and I'll find my own food, mm -hmm. like Chick fil A salad. Good afternoon, everyone. <laughs> Jerk. He said, I'll get a salad, Chick fil A salad. <laughs> you can eat the chicken, I'll eat the salad. You that nasty that she bought the store the other day. Anyways. Um, okay, so do you guys have any questions about Lazy Keto while we're on here? We're just waiting for the sandwiches to heat up. Um, super simple, effective. Don't you think this looks like the picture? With the I don't know. powder versus the whey protein? Anyway, I need the mixer when you're done. Oh, you're, yeah, you'll have to wait. I said when you're done. Can you just put it over there for now? Because I need that oh, too. need that too? Okay. Yeah. Like, I'm in his way, but, like, I'm making lunch, and I'm talking to you guys, so he needs to just stay over there until he's done, right? <laughs> you guys are pretty quiet today, though. Any questions at all? I just like to kind of flip it to make sure that all the cheese is... Um, can I talk about the sodium in the ketones? So, uh, send me a message, and I will send you an article to read. So basically, the way, the reason that the sodium is high in the ketones is because it is a supplement. So your body's going into ketosis, your body's depleting itself as you drink water and, and as you go through your day. And so the amount of sodium in the ketones actually replaces the amount of sodium that depletes from your body. You need sodium in your body. It's different from salt. So um, there's an article that kind of explains it, and I can send it to anybody who wants it. You just need to send me a message and say, hey, can you send me the article about sodium and ketones? Um, so I know that turns a lot of people off, um, but it's got purpose. So, um, it's a really good article to kind of read about. Um, Michelle's having this when she gets home today for lunch. Yes. What are you guys all having by it anyways? Um, 
Cammie made ravioli last night. You made ravioli with the tortillas? No. No? Probably not. Maybe. You think? She'll let us know. I guess. Maybe. Tammy, what did you did you use the tortillas for the ravioli? I was thinking of the cheese stuff, but or the molded <laughs> mozzarella cheese that you thought was pepper jack. Doesn't that look like pepper jack cheese? It says sliced mozzarella, but it looks like pepper jack. It's molded. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here's the first one. Done. Ready to go. Let's flip this guy. Okay. So then I'll show you guys what this looks like. I actually think I might dip mine in um, some marinara. Oh, she said just regular keto ravioli. You were right. Happy Thanksgiving, Marianne. So here's the little sandwich. It's a little hot meat and cheese with a little bit of cream cheese. Um, and that's it. That's what it looks like. It's so easy and so good. <coughs> awesome. Let me know if you guys have questions. I'm going to do another round of these. What are you guys the most excited for for Thanksgiving? Just curious. Oh. <laughs> I heard the peanut gallery in the back in the living room. Food. What? Food. Oh, says the bird that doesn't even eat. Yeah, that's ah. funny. They're really excited about Aunt Mindy's mac and cheese. They like actually texted her ah. personally to make sure she was bringing it. Oh. I'm kind of sad to miss it this year, but. Um, it's going to be okay. Uh, what is it we're doing? Cammie, we are making some sandwiches. Some hot meat and cheese sandwiches. Sometimes you just need a little meat and cheese sandwich when you're following Lazy Keto. So we're using zero carb tortillas, some cream cheese, some pepperoni, some salami, and some cheese. And then we're just heating them up in this little waffle iron. And I think I'm going to toss or dip mine in some pizza sauce. That sounds good. All right, so this one's done. And you can cook it as long or as short as you want. I just like to get everything just a little bit um, heated up. Here you go, babe. Those are yours. Thank you. I'm going to make oh. one more, and then that's it. Oh, look, they're all cut nice and pretty. I'm not sure how I got yeah. on here. Oh, keto. Yeah. yeah, I'm not sure how you got on here either. <laughs> But welcome. What did he really say? You probably pressed the watch live button. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> did you guys hear him? Like, oh my gosh, that's so good. It's so good. Okay. Just a nice little break. So we'll just do some cream cheese on the tortillas, some salami. I did pepperoni on this one. And then um, I need more cheese. We just do like two slices of cheese and I put mozzarella slices in a casserole dish, put the sausage mixture in the middle, then topped with more mozzarella and baked it. Oh, that sounds pretty ah. easy. The last time I made keto ravioli, I um actually, that's two pieces. I um, did one piece of mozzarella and then just folded it so they were like just a little bit smaller. And yeah, that's what we did. They look like wontons. Yeah, Dee says they look like they looked like wontons. I guess we'll give Toby yeah. some. Yeah, these are fun. Here you go, Tucky. They're like the zones or something. Tucker. Or cow zones. If you guys are just popping on, we're making little sandwiches. Super easy. Lazy Keto is all about eliminating versus tracking. We are not strict keto, so we do not um, track macros. We're not really restrictive. We just kind of focus on eliminating versus tracking. So eliminate bread, pasta, processed foods, and sugars. Focus on protein, veggies, fruits, and fats. Occasionally, you can sprinkle in some of the keto-labeled products. Just don't have them every day. 
um, and go live your best life. Eat better, drink more water, move your body, and repeat. Eat better, drink more water, move your body, repeat. And then a lot of us like to use supplements to help us just kind of make it a little bit more easier. Um, and I like to share recipes and ideas on ways that help us. So I was able to drop 100 pounds of fat in eight months. I'm not the smallest I was, but I'm nowhere near the biggest. I'm on a kind of personal journey right now um, to be a little bit more intentional. So in the last basically two months, um, I've dropped about 35 pounds of fat. I've gone down in some inches. Um, go check out my stories. I posted a before and better yesterday from day one and then day 64 where um, I'm rocking and rolling. I feel great. My clothes are fitting great. Um, I'm really happy about my food choices. And so I like to share that all with you guys to make you guys not overthink it so much. So hopefully it's helpful. Hopefully it is. And that's it. That's my life. Hi, so I guess that's all I got for you guys. We don't really need to hang on here. If you guys don't have any questions, I'm probably going to jump off and these are ready to go. I'll eat and then get on with the rest of my afternoon. Um, uh, just a couple recaps. Um, the Thanksgiving digital cookbook is done. So if you want a free copy of that and you haven't gotten it yet, drop a turkey in the comments. That's kind of will let us know that that's what you want. You can always send me a message. Um, if you're not in the recipe group where all of those recipes came from, put group in the comments so we can get you added. If we're not friends, we have to be friends for you to get access to that. Um, so send me a friend request. Uh, there's a huge, I take ketones, um, and there's a huge Black Friday sale. So if you want to get started with ketones, if you have any questions, um, let me know because I'll answer them for you. Best time to get started. Huge, huge sale. Um, and uh, I'm preparing for what's to come. So in December, we're going to do, I don't know if some of you guys were around last year, some of you weren't, but I did like a 12 days of Christmas cooking series where I did 12 different recipes for the holidays. Some were cookies, candy, um, dips, uh, and everything's lazy keto to help you stay on track. Um, I did giveaways every day with it. I went live every day. I had another digital cookbook, um, and it was a whole lot of fun. So I'm gonna do it again um, this, I'm gonna do it again this year, um, and it's gonna start in just a couple weeks. So um, make sure you guys are all squared up, ready to go, and, um, Let's rock out the holiday season. Woo woo. Yep. All right. Well, I'm going to jump off here, but I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Happy Thanksgiving. And um, I seem to be stuck on a plateau. I'm doing all the things. Fat isn't budging. Any recommendations? So my first question, Michelle, that's a great question. Um, how long has your plateau been? All right. So um, the scale is a great way to gauge progress, but don't focus on the scale. Make sure you're taking pictures. And just realize, like, <coughs> make sure you're drinking enough water, all right? Up your water. Maybe dabble in a little bit of fasting. Um, if you're not sure about your food choices, there's an app called Carb Manager. Carb Manager. It's free, right? So it'll tell you, like, it's for people who want to track keto, right? But it'll tell you, like, how much you should be eating in a day. It'll tell you, like, the formula that you're eating. So... It'll tell you like, um, you should have this much carbs, this much protein, this much fat. And so if, if you're okay, so you say two months, I would go plug in your, uh, food into carb manager for like a week and see what's off. You could be not eating enough food. You could be eating some of the wrong foods. You could be eating too much protein. You could be eating not enough fat. Um, you know, with lazy keto, um, which I'm pretty sure that's what you're doing. Um, you still want to kind of follow the concept of keto. Uh, you just don't have to be so restrictive, but you have to eat food. Um, you have to drink water and you have to make sure you're getting enough sleep. And I know you drink ketones and so that should be helping as well, but don't necessarily focus on the scale. Um, focus on, you know, how you're feeling and just doing everything consistently every single day. Like if your number one goal is fat loss right now, you shouldn't be having cheats. Like you shouldn't be... Um, having a cheat meal, you shouldn't be having a whole lot of keto labeled items. You should literally be focusing on protein, green veggies, one cup of berries, and some good fats. And make sure that you're doing three to seven cups of green vegetables every single day. 
maybe you're not eating enough calories in a day like we don't count calories but you still have to make sure you are eating enough food like your body's gonna hold on to that and you know people always go into like the whole um like survivor where those people lose all that weight like super fast but they're like not eating food they're like living outside they're only drinking water they're not having anything processed like everything is all natural so we just have to kind of navigate through all of the temptations and distractions that we have um but i would definitely uh ask yourself if you're drinking enough water consistently getting eight hours of sleep consistently eating the right foods and then plug in your food to carb manager to see if you're eating enough of the right food that's what i would do so hopefully that helps good luck to you too you can message me too michelle so all right well here's the finished sandwiches so i am going to get some pizza sauce to dip my in, <coughs> and um, i'm going to eat these it already um, was like a calzone or something where did that knife go did i just throw it over here yeah you did so anyways all right well i'm out of here guys i'm gonna go eat this have a great afternoon i'll talk to you soon bye